The fallout from the events of Monday night was still dominating the headlines and the industry with things taken a step further on Thursday hours before SmackDown went on the air with the company addressing the situation publicly for the first time in an official press release on its website, detailing Austin not showing up to Raw after a creative dispute to all but confirm the end of his run with the company at least for the foreseeable future. In addition to Confidential on Saturday set to see one of the most intriguing programs of the year with a McMahon and Ross shoot interview explaining the situation to the TV audience, with McMahon who in a rare situation sold publicly on Monday night with him visibly furious during the opening segment with Flair when taking several shots at Austin, opening SmackDown 24 hours later back to regular business with him now back in full control of the company after blowing off the 50% ownership draft angle with Flair on a few hours notice on Monday afternoon, kicking off the broadcast with the King of the Ring undisputed title match contract signing of Undertaker vs Triple H in 10 days, building up the match almost three months in the making that was originally scheduled for a backlash in April with Taker and Hunter signing the contract before the swerve of McMahon's security holding off Hunter for Taker to attack in a segment going over the full opening quarter through the first commercial break. With Triple H still in the ring taking the show hostage to call out Taker and McMahon followed by Vince returning to set up the main event for tonight with a Taker and Angle against Hunter and Hogan tag match, seeing Triple H destroying the announcer's table and production equipment in a segment that threw the two commercials and the following replay going over the first 33 minutes of the show to pick up over 700,000 viewers for the duration of it with the first half hour for the full Angle averaging 4.9 million viewers slightly below the 5.1 million of the previous week which opened stronger than usual for the big star power battle royal match, and with the issue now being made public with the website press release to the wide audience who don't usually read internet wrestling news, 8.45 p.m. saw Michael Cole and Taz in comments edited into the show in post-production mentioning the Austin situation on air for the first time saying that at some point they were gonna have to address the issue saying that Austin walked out on the company on Monday night while hyping Saturday's Confidential with the behind-the-scenes real story on what and why it happened, building up the show by hyping shocking shoot comments from McMahon and JR in an interview that was filmed earlier on Thursday and plugged on SmackDown hours later with JR calling it the toughest interview he has done in his career, while saying that he owed it to the talent roster staff members and stockholders with the company after the interview airs on Saturday looking to move on and get things back on track with a fresh TV product on both brands, challenging the rest of the roster to step up and take the opportunity to capitalize on the situation and take the main event spot going forward with messages for the young talent looking to be elevated and the established headliners to be team players. With the company in the middle of the Austin chaos getting the news on another high-profile name being permanently taken off the roster with Dallas Page after the past several weeks of doctor evaluations on a neck injury suffered in a match against Bob Holy on a SmackDown taping in April, officially announcing his retirement from wrestling with a message on his website on Tuesday saying that it was Vincent JR who made the final call that it would be too dangerous for him to return to the ring with him if going through the neck surgery at 46 years old would have to do a year of rehab to see him closing his career that peaked big at the height of the Nitro era with some of the biggest moments and matches throughout the Monday Night Tours boom period, with SmackDown after picking up viewers throughout the first hour crossing over 9pm with a Jericho and Storm vs Val and Kidman tag match going 6 minutes kicking off the second hour which also included a Hulk Hogan backstage promo hyping the main event tag and challenging angle for a match at the King of the Ring pay-per-view with a 3.8 rating and over 5.7 million viewers.
Unlike last Thursday when the show started strong and held steady throughout the rest of the night, SmackDown this week started around the same range but showed strong growth in almost every quarter hour throughout the two hours, including going back to the big hour to hour increase to go from 5.1 million at 8 pm to 6 million viewers between 9 to 10, and while all the focus during the week was on Austin not showing up to his advertised TV taping. Perhaps an even bigger issue coming out of the situation is set to rise over the next several weeks with Austin advertised to headline the Raw House shows weeks in advance including this weekend in singles matches against Eddie Guerrero along with Taker vs Van Dam as the double main event, with the biggest house show of the weekend is set to see the SmackDown brand on Saturday for the company's return to Honolulu in almost a decade. Headlined by Roxanne Ring return for the first time in over a month since working a house show near his hometown in early May teaming with Hogan against Tangle and Jericho, with Rock who is set to headline the card in a singles match against Jericho with the show selling out in record time with the massive demand the moment he was officially advertised in the area, specifically asking to work the event due to the personal history of his family and the country going back to his grandfather's history in the territory with him seeing it as a rare opportunity to make his debut in the Hawaii market knowing that his days as a full-time wrestler are in the past, with SmackDown during a commercial heavy quarter between 9.30 to 45 p.m. seeing an injury angle in the middle just before the main event with Hogan attacked by Taker and Angle backstage to take him out and turn the tag into a handicap match. With the final commercial break taking place at 9.39 p.m. SmackDown had an 18 minutes uninterrupted block to close the broadcast for the main event, seeing the final quarter picking up strong for the match going 10 minutes, previewing the now official double main event for the King of the Ring pay-per-view with Taker vs Hunter and Hogan vs Angle to see the match and post-match angle of Hogan returning to take off Angle's wig in the first televised look of a bald Kurt Angle speaking with a 4.4 rating with over 6.6 .6 million viewers in one of the three most watched segments on a SmackDown show in the past two months, closing the show with Hogan's reveal of Angle to a big reaction with the show overall picking up to over 5.5 million viewers in a slight increase over last week.